Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. Oh, okay. Oh, you've started it, so it's going. So you've started it, so this is... Yeah, but I haven't given you headphones or anything, so... So it's going right now. The podcast, I think, has started, Ty. Oh, has okay. it, Grant? I mean, has it actually? <laughs> That's such a D Navy action. Recording <laughs> Would you be cool if this was the beginning of it, or what should, or maybe we should? I think we. There you go. What is that supposed to mean? People enjoyed seeing Dude. you the other day, Grant. That's what staff were for. <laughs> they edited the podcast for you, right? Mm-hmm. Like they cut out any unnecessary silence, dead air. No, I wouldn't say that. You mean it don't? This podcast has started to become built on. <laughs> built on dead air. <laughs> built on dead air. Thank you. <laughs> Did you know that? No, you but that's podcast, a great way you? to make money, though, off of dead air. It'd be a wonderful way. Dude, you're an entrepreneur. You're capitalizing off of dead air. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is dead air. <laughs> That's already, you're right. You're actually helping. It's a self-fulfilling process. Oh, man. man. That's how you stimulate the economy. That's how you what? Stimulate it? Yeah, stimulate the economy. With dead air? With dead air, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if a president say, hey, I will bring y'all dead air, you would vote for that person. <laughs> <laughs> would you? I don't know. That sounds kind of crazy. Dead air for everybody. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Would you vote for that person, Casey? If they were just trying to run on big air? <laughs> big air? Dead, dead air. air. Big air. You thought it was big air. It's like big, far- it's like big pharma, but it's just <laughs> big air. It's a right. pocket full of air. Can you all hear me? Yeah. Okay. We're okay. rolling then. We woke well. Well, we have been rolling. <laughs> we're, yeah. We're continually rolling, I suppose. Perpetually rolling. Yeah. Yeah. Perpetually rolling. That's pretty much what people say you've been doing recently, Ty. W- what? On drugs? You've been on ecstasy so much? <laughs> no. I never tried ecstasy before. Would you? I'm scared because I saw something on TV. Like a girl, she took it, and then uh, she became like brain dead. So, Ooh. yeah, it had a big impact on me because I saw it when I was young. So Dead air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so... Yeah. I don't know. Maybe try it. What it do you think? It fun, Casey? Do you, you know, but... I think it would be really helpful. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, you roll tits. And I used to you do a lot of ecstasy, and I would tell everybody I was Ben Stiller's son. Did I tell you guys that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally unbelievable. Yeah. No, it's yeah. true. I, I was talking about it at your house show that we did. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was riffing uh, to total silence. I was like, can I ever tell you guys I used to take ecstasy tell everybody I was Ben Stiller's son? Everybody's like. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's looking around like, is he talking to me? <laughs> Why would you have told me that? I don't know you. Uh, Wait, when you used to tell that to people, do you think people would believe you? Um, yeah, I mean, it's on brand. Yeah, I used, it's true. I used to, like the first rave I went to, I uh, drank a bunch of Robitussin and I took a bunch of ecstasy. <laughs> Damn. And, uh, Robitussin. It was a bad combination. I know it sounds great, but it was not. And... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I got like stuck in a thought loop that I thought it would be really great if everybody there thought I was Ben Stiller's son. And uh, I just oh my gosh, did it for like two hours going up to really. Yeah, <laughs> what would their reaction? They were like, okay, like, <laughs> they weren't, <laughs> what? They weren't impressed. <laughs> it's really loud in there. They're all just like, what? Wait, is it really loud at raves? Yeah, yeah it's super. So I was like getting in there. Hey man, I just wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's Ben Stiller. I don't think that does his. Is that his son? Does Ben Stiller's son literally look 
No. Is that him? <laughs> that's that's adult Ben Stiller. That's that's him. Do you know who that is, Ty? Yeah, he's in <laughs> Zoolander. Yep. Yeah, that was a funny one. Did yeah. you ever see Heavyweights? Nah, I saw Meet the Parents. Classic. I know Meet the Parents. That's really funny. Yeah. Wait, you never saw Heavyweights? I never saw Heavyweight. You have to. Did you, Casey? Yeah. He, That's he's wonderful. The, uh, the, the Perkis. instructor. Yeah. The Perkis system. Mm-hmm. He could help oh. you lose weight. Are you still trying to lose weight, Ty? No, I'm trying to gain weight, actually. <laughs> really? Yeah, I've been gaining weight. It's very easy to gain weight. What you have just you smoke been weed eat? and then just eat like at a food truck after you perform comedy. <clears throat> What's your favorite food truck? Um, I think there's a uh, it's like an Asian food truck and like uh next to the creek in the cave on like two block down. You know what I'm talking about? Asian Express. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's yeah. a very generic name. <laughs> oh yeah, I took a photo of it. Cause the name is so generic. Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you're probably the master at judging Asian food, aren't you? Wouldn't you be? It appears that you might be. I don't know about that. I don't go that deep into Asian food, so. Okay. There's definitely people that can beat me in that. (laughs) 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 But it's not something I boast on, you know? You're too humble. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, the name's even more generic than that. It's called Asian Kitchen. Uh, (laughs) Asian Kitchen. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Do you see it? Like, have you you ate there? Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, It's pretty good. uh, Sesame Chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, love Sesame Chicken. Yeah. I So you're you're trying to gain weight, but I heard you're also pushing weight. Is that true? Are you, like, trapping? No, I do not sell drugs. So whoever started that rumor needs to shut it. Shut it. We smoked I weed. I, we drove up. We drove up here, and you handed me a blunt. Out I mean, like you a I'm, car. I'm a I'm a user, not a pusher. I'm an addict, <laughs> not a trapaholic. You're an addict. You don't live in the attic. Yeah. Exactly. That's stupid. What is? Yeah. <laughs> what is <laughs> just word association. <laughs> He's trying to whine. <laughs> so you don't trap? Literally, that's everything. Yeah, day. yeah. I'm glad Casey just asked you that. Uh, yeah, I don't trap. I mean, I tried trapping yeah. before, and there's so much math involved that I never enjoy math. So it's something that I don't want to do because I don't want to do math. Yeah. yeah, you have to like, uh, yeah, handle money, finance, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. What were you selling when you were when you were trapping? I didn't sell anything. <laughs> it's like, oh, I thought you said you tried it for a little. I, bit, I, I, get I tried for like one day. Like I bought like a uh, a pound of weed, and then I sold it for twenty five dollars more than the price I bought it. <laughs> Cool. That's how it starts. Yeah. <laughs> Except normally it's more than twenty five dollars. I think you hear stories of people somehow flipping up on this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like. But more. the thing is, uh, <laughs> but the thing is, when you drive down the highway with a pound of weed in your car, you felt like huge adrenaline rush, and like you don't turn on music or anything. You you just do the speed limit. Oh, really? Yeah, because you're so worried. Just think about the $25 you're about to make. <laughs> you can spend 30 years in prison. <laughs> oh, man. Well, it's good you got out of it. Yeah, I tried to sell weed one time oh, in did? school, and I couldn't uh, Yeah, couldn't do it, really. I ended up smoking a lot of it, and it was to my buddy, and I just, I don't know. Dude, I, I sold think, some to my friend. That was, I, I think that's the number it. one problem with people that try and sell weed. They smoke most of it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> so you yeah. gotta be in it for something else, you know. You have to be really passionate about it, I guess. Did did you you still got that twenty five dollars? Did you hold on? That's so cool. Did you frame it? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I do that? Your first earning. I mean, I went to Subway, so I spent some of that at Subway. About five dollars for foot long. You get five. <laughs> I of mean, them. back then it was probably cheaper because that's like. Yeah, what's going on with Subway prices? They are going up a little. I mean, can you even still get a five dollar foot long anymore? Not in this economy. Like a seven dollar, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like seven dollars, and not yeah, not in this economy. That's not too bad. <laughs> What, seven bucks? All that inflation? That's two extra dollars for a foot long. And I think Subway is subpar. Oh, dang. (laughs) 
I never really had a bad meal at Subway, so I can't hate on them. I know a lot of people hate on them, and I made jokes about them, but I never had a bad sandwich. What's at Subway. a Subway joke? Um, I don't remember right now. Okay. <laughs> remember we did that I random. Think I retire all my Subway jokes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Could have went around event. Remember we did that show on Friday and that baby started crying during your set? <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought, damn, it's going to be a long day. But that baby shut up, so it, it was great. <laughs> yeah, I was literally watching the lady do out her bosom and the and the baby oh, oh, start yeah? sucking on it. Because you asked, you're like, I bet it's sucking on your bosom now. And I watched that happen in real time. Oh, wow. See, I just assumed that's what happened. Like, that's just a riff I made. I didn't know that. Well, it was a very accurate riff because it literally, yeah. I was watching some lady slowly do like, her bosom out of her shirt and I was just mind, staring over like, there and then the baby caught on. And In my uh, mind, there's only two things that could shut a baby up like that. Either she snapped a baby neck or she pop a boob inside his mouth. Yeah, I was thinking stab a baby <laughs> neck. <or laughs> <laughs> the two options. <laughs> yeah, stab <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened to baby Hackner. You get stabbed. <laughs> a, mor- a moral conundrum. Yeah. Truly. Where was where was this that the woman was able to breastfeed freely during your riffs? In Buda. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Buda. The place was kind of cool. What? It was at their old town hall. Yeah, it looked like a town hall. Yeah, it's great. It was built by the Mason, the Freemason oh. they have on the wall. So it was very well designed. The acoustic was perfect. Yeah. Sticks were off the Those free Mason know how to build stuff. Yeah. Like build. Are you great really, infrastructure? Are you really allergic to milk? That was one of the things you were talking about. Uh yeah. Well I was younger. Yeah. But now I could still kinda drink it, but it's still kinda nasty to me. But you still drink it sometimes. <laughs> Not really. I haven't drank it. Go to Dairy time. Queen. God, Casey, have milk. you been to Dairy Queen recently? Yeah, it's so good this time of year. <laughs> Blizzards. They're so they're getting so much better. You got a drumstick blizzard. Yeah, drumstick Whoa. blizzard. <laughs> they have a little waffle cone inside. Oh, yeah. the bl- what? Right. Oh my god! What it was the wonderful. heck? Waffle cone. Mm. So oh, cool. That? That's crazy. Have you been? No. Would it make you gross? It, gross it's out. Funny, sick? like I've been to a Dairy Queen for like three years. Could be five years. Could be five years since your last Ooh. trip to Dairy Queen. Yeah, I don't even remember going to Dairy Queen Ooh. and eating Ooh. there. It's been that long. She. It's not something I would seek out, you know. Do you eat fast food? Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite fast food? Probably Popeyes. <laughs> That's kind of sweet. What do you get the chicken? I mean, yeah. Yeah, Popeyes. Known for chicken. <laughs> We're talking about Popeyes, Grant, not fucking Dairy Queen. It took me long enough. To Please find a good stick queen. with us. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I go Popeye for the fish. <laughs> <laughs> and some of that world famous Popeye cereal. <laughs> God, and the cereal, it's like Honey Smacks. Uh, it's just Honey Smacks. <laughs> it's Honey Smacks, I think. <laughs> honey Smacks and Dr. Pepper is milk. <laughs> so good. Do y'all like Dr. Pepper? Mm, so good. I like Dr. Pepper. Do you do? Yeah. Do you, Casey? I'm Team Pepper. Yeah. I've never, I don't like that or root beer. Oh. Root beer to me is <laughs> just good. It's not amazing. Yeah, I don't know really what to think about root beer. But... Yeah, the jury's out. Uh... <laughs> jury's out on that one. <laughs> Grant, do you like beer. it? Dr. Pepper or root beer? Both. I like root beer. I hate Dr. Pepper. It very interesting. Hmm. Did you know that about Grant? It like it's like apple and orange. I, I think I told Ty when he came in. <laughs> Wait, hold on. It is like apples and oranges. <laughs> yeah. I agree. In many ways, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like <laughs> Cool. Cool. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, yeah there. <laughs> <laughs> I like apples, oranges, Interesting. <laughs> Did you know that about Grant? <laughs> I, again, I told him all of this when he came in. He's autistic. He's very artistic. artistic. He's a great painter. Yeah, he's a really good painter. Thank you, guys. The oranges make your fingers stink because you got to peel <laughs> off the nasty, stinky peel. 
<laughs> I know it's citrusy. Do you? Is it a good stink to you or a bad stink? It's a little bit of both, man. I won't sit here and lie to you. It's like a nasty, grubby, like make your fingies feel sticky. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't peel yeah. it. I use a knife and cut it. Oh, that's smart. yeah. Do y'all peel your orange? Yeah. I do. Sometimes I'm not strong enough. I mean, sometimes those orange peels are. To me, it's just like so tedious. Yeah. Like yeah. Extra step. Unless it's a little cutie. You know those the little cuties? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're They pop about. right off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those pop right off. Yeah, when I was a kid, the peels, I mean, they just, you look at them, they'd fall off, you know? And now some of these things, <laughs> you got to weird. Damn, take the damn Hubble telescope, freaking damn smash them with it. What the hell? Yeah, you got to look at it from the fucking Hubble. <laughs> What's that new telescope? Have y'all seen the pictures? No. The, oh, the James Webb? Yeah. Yeah. That's a new telescope. It's a new telescope up in space. Do you think the Earth is flat? No. Yeah, neither do I. Yeah. You, Casey? No, I think it's probably round. Yeah, it's probably spheroid. Or at least a rhombus. Yeah, a rhombus. What does that look like? Like the Earth, kind of? You like know, a I circle? I don't know what a rhombus is. <laughs> I wish I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, I wish I could take that back. No, take back. Dude, my mind is searching for a rhombus and something. Uh, <laughs> like it's going through shape. Siri, pull up rhombus. <laughs> That's how I talk to my brain. <laughs> Siri, pull up shape of rhombus. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's a lot of shapes a yeah. lot of the time. <laughs> Siri, yeah. pull up polygon. Wait, is polygon, is that a is that a shape or is that like it's a... It's a Pokemon. Yeah, it's... is that a Pokemon? <laughs> R- rhombuses are like a... A that's square a square that's that seems that's about shifted. right. It looks like a diamond. Oh, yeah. that's a vomit? That yeah. seems about right. Yeah, that's about like I think uh-huh. what the earth looks like if you saw it from space. <laughs> Dude, I think that's what it looks it's like. It's pretty accurate. That's Dude, accurate. you just started a new conspiracy theory. What that the earth is rhombus? Yeah. Rhomboid. Rhombus, yeah. <laughs> Rhomboid. That Rhomboid. sounds like a bad word you'd call someone whose brain works slow. <laughs> Like his rom person, this <laughs> romboid over here. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> <laughs> this a romboid can't even fix his motorcycle. <laughs> He's on a motorcycle in this situation. Yeah, I couldn't fix my motorcycle. Neither could you, you or you. You have a motorcycle. You, you have a motorcycle? No, nah, I was just trying to impress you. <laughs> oh <laughs> wow, I knew. Do you, no, do a... you have a motorcycle? I don't. I thought you said you had a motorcycle just then. No, I don't. I'm starting to think none of us have motorcycles. Yeah, I'm starting to think nobody. Yeah, that's why nobody could fix one. That now makes sense. Nobody could fix because none of us have one. Have one, yeah. Yeah, when you brought that up, I was thinking, I don't have a motorcycle. You're right. I don't think I could fix that. (laughs) (laughs) Even if I had a motorcycle, I don't think I could fix it. You're not very mechanically inclined. Yep, exactly. Dude, I'm worried that when my car tire pop, I wouldn't be able to change it. So I have to call somebody. Yeah. yeah. I just figured out how to do that like two months ago. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Did you have to do it? it seemed like know. hard work. Was hard, it hard? Hard physical work. Uh, it's, No, it's not as hard as you think. Oh, really? Put a little jack under there. I should have practiced. That's what I should do. <laughs> Just in case. Like, how wait? How long did it take? Were you on the side of like the highway or something? Where were you? Were you in a safe place? Where were in you? In a cul-de-sac. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a cul-de-sac. <laughs> I was <laughs> training. <laughs> I was <laughs> training. I was doing my newspaper route, and uh, <laughs> n- no, I was. Uh, what happened to my girlfriend's car? And it, we were in a neighborhood, so yeah, it was fine. But then mine fell off. No, that's not the right. <laughs> All my tires fell off the other day. <laughs> um, I had to do it, but it was at my house. But yeah, it took a while to Damn. take a lug nut off. In your driveway? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Are you looking it up on like YouTube, like the directions, or it has directions, or you just intuitively know how to take off the lug nuts and stuff? <laughs> I, I think, think you've seen it in movies, right? Yeah, yeah. I've seen it on the NAS- like the NASCAR pit crew. Man, those new NASCAR movies are something else. They're making more every year. <laughs> they are making more every year. Are you a fan of those new NASCAR movies that have come out? Yeah, I know the Fast and the Furious. <laughs> God, we're not talking about Fast and Furious. Are you kidding? No, I'm kidding. That was funny. Yeah, maybe we're talking about Fast and Furious. <laughs> I'm thinking, hold on, what is NASCAR movie? What could that... 
What could that look like? <laughs> yeah, what could that look like in NASCAR movie? It's Days of Thunder, right? Is that a NASCAR movie? Yeah. yeah. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. It's great. Is he the driver? Uh yeah. I was uh I there's some comedians here and I went and visited them like three months ago at their house at like three in the morning because they told me to come over no. and they were all on acid watching Days of Thunder. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, just That's funny. Three in the morning. <laughs> Dude, that car is so big. <laughs> they were all scared about the size of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done that before, Ty Acid? Yes. Did you like it? Yeah. I enjoy acid a lot. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Ever have any scary trips? Yeah, I had a really bad trip. What happened? So I took a bunch of acid, right? What and does that... a bunch mean? What do you What do you mean? What form was it in? A tab, like kind of like uh, on a sweet tart. I just took oh, nice. two, but that's a lot. Yeah. 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 Or maybe I took one and it was a lot. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. what happened when you took it? So I was like, you know, got really like high, just like out of there just seeing stuff right yeah and then i decided to go drive in my car for whatever god reason. why did you think that i have no idea but while i was driving it was pouring you got rain. a flat tire no <laughs> nah, okay. there's no way i can figure this out <laughs> yeah. yeah oh no uh, <laughs> <laughs> that would be the worst <laughs> thing ever. you you don't even know who would call <laughs> you have to knock it up and shit. <laughs> See me? And you'll know how to tell where you are. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, you're just thinking, Siri, what's a rhombus? <laughs> That's all you can think. <laughs> Siri, change my tire. Yeah, please. Yeah. Hold on, not to interject the story, but have y'all noticed the, the robot lady voice on uh, the phones? It sounds different now. I can't put my finger on how it sounds. Do y'all use? See, I still use. I'm horrible with directions. I'm constantly using my phone to get places. Have y'all noticed that? The lady's voice is a little different. Whoa. I use Google Maps, so I don't know. You're you're saying where she goes like, turn right, turn right here. It's different. It sounds a little different on uh, some of the words. Spooky. I mean, they got to update her, right? Ty, are you really not going to say anything about Casey's fucking <laughs> robot voice? Dude, come on. You're just going to ignore the elephant you in the room right now? you not hear that robot voice? <laughs> Did you not love that? Come on, man. Come on. Come on, Tommy. Good morning. Yeah, it's on. me, the little robot boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so spooky. Oh, he's so scared. So Dude, cool. that would be funny. <laughs> Thanks, That's, man. If that was the voice for actual GPS, <laughs> that would be funny. I know. That would be a yeah. funny voice for GPS. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, mommy's little stinker. Take her right here, baby boy. <laughs> yeah, so cute. Yeah, did baby? It calls you baby yeah. stuff a lot. That would be good if you could personalize those to do stuff like that. Siri, call me baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> call me mommy's little stinker. <laughs> Wait, Ty, but what happened? So you're in the car, and then what happened? So it started raining like a lot, like just downpour. To where like you could barely see. Yeah. Yeah, and I was just like so on it that it's like <laughs> I forgot what everything is. Like, <laughs> and your dry is your and car stationary or your no? I'm driving. Yeah, and I have music on. And I was like, what is music? And I was like, what is street? Like, I have no idea what, <laughs> yeah, what is anything street? is. Yeah, <laughs> I just remember uh, <laughs> you're going 80 miles an yeah. hour in a neighborhood. <laughs> And, <laughs> and it's raining outside. Yeah. And I remember that I had to pee really bad, but I didn't know yeah. any way I could go or pee, and I just pee in my pants. No. Yeah, I just let it go. Yeah, it wasn't the best trip. I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel really bad. Just listening to Garth Brooks piss in your pants, yeah. driving 80 miles an hour. Yeah. So what, did you just stay in your car? Was the entire trip you just ended up in your car? Did no, you and then go? I went and parked. I parked at somewhere. And I went to the trunk of my car, and I got like some uh some newspaper to put on my car seat <laughs> to absorb the. Well, that's kind of sweet. Yeah, like, that would make sense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dog, you made a mess. <laughs> 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 that's a pretty bad trip. 
<laughs> yeah, that's yeah, cool. that's a terrible trip. Yeah, God. you know you. But I had fun you're... at the beginning though, before I started driving. So I shouldn't have drove. I should have st- stay home where the toilet is in like in week. Well, now you know. Now you probably won't drive again when you're tripping. Yeah, it's a bad idea. Have you driven while y'all were tripping? I never have. Oh yeah, I never have. I have. You feel like acid? Does it happen to y'all and y'all take acid? You get to a point when like you don't know anything. Like what everything is. <laughs> no, like you know I don't know I if I've really taken enough. The most I've ever done is two hits. And the last time I did that, I was at Erica's place when we were doing it all the time. And the two hits, I was glad I was at her place. I was just laying on her on the bed a lot of the time. I couldn't have interacted with people. I was I don't know, it was fun, but it was seemed like a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I was just trying to relax. I wouldn't I wouldn't trip acid at a party. I wouldn't. It's no. like two, yeah. Yeah, me and my buddy did some in high school and we drove all the way to Athens, Georgia, which is like two two hours away. Gosh. <laughs> and it was a really, really bad choice. Yeah, we kept pulling over like every five minutes, like we're already so far. We can't like we were too far to go back. <laughs> but we were already too far from the destination. So we're like, we just stay oh, here. No. Like, yeah, you're only five minutes out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're at the end of the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta come back. <laughs> what are streets? <laughs> yeah. What are streets? <laughs> Yeah, it was bad. I kept making him drive, and he was like, dude, I don't think... He was, like, getting, like, emotional. He's like, I don't want to drive anymore. I was like, you have to. I don't want to drive. Ah, man. <laughs> I'm scared. Don't make me drive anymore. Keep going. Dude, uh, when I'm on acid, I'm, like, more sensitive to, like, everything. Does that happen to y'all? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like, everything's yeah, just so. more vibrant. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to do it again soon. I've been thinking about it, but I don't... I don't know. I don't know if I will. That's scary. Yeah. I think I'm done with all that. This this one time I was eating a peanut butter sandwich on acid at bon- <laughs> at Bonnaroo, and the consistency of the peanut butter was like like freaking me out. And I said to my friend, I said, dude, this peanut butter is so sneaky. And I don't know why I said that, but that's what I said. I said, dude, this peanut butter is so sneaky. And he said, what did you say? And I thought that I said peanut butter's too sneaky. I thought I said it really loud, so then I decided not to talk anymore, and I didn't talk again for like eight hours. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I'm, just like, I'm being too loud. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, everybody, that sounds horrible. <laughs> every, that sounds awful. Everybody's scared of me because I'm screaming all the time. I yeah. know, and you're like, oh, I've paid money to feel this way. Yeah. That's what I always thought. Why did I, if I was having a bad trip, I was like, I fucking paid money to feel like this? What's going on? What have I done? Paid money to be scared of peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> Got Bonnaroo. They always find the, the dead bodies in the tents every year from people with heat exhaustion. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's like a work camp. So so yeah. the drug didn't kill them. The heat did. Mm-hmm. The heat. Have you ever yeah. been in a tent that you thought was a little too hot? <laughs> no. I haven't been in a tent in a long time. It has been? Yeah. Yeah, you got to get back to it, man. It's awesome. Well, yeah, you used kid. to love camping. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Do y'all when's the last time y'all camp? Ooh, good question. Years. I don't know. It's been years for me, I guess. Years, I right? probably like four years, yeah, five years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need to get back to it. I mean, this is a hot time of the year though. It's too hot mm-hmm. to camp. It's getting down to ninety nine. You die of heat exhaustion. Yeah, you yeah. could people do every year Bonnaroo do. Yeah. Yeah, all my friends would like pass out. I almost passed out once. Yeah, it's just like something that happened from just heat exhaustion. Yeah, if you stand, my buddy was at Kendrick Lamar, and we were all just ha- having fun. And I was on mushrooms, and I was standing right next to him, and he looked at me, and he didn't look really good, and he just passed out. He's dead. Uh, yeah, that would have scared me to yeah. death. What do you go <laughs> over there and make sure everything's okay? What do you do? Yeah, it was pretty spooky. I just like tried to shake him, <laughs> like shake him out of it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> oh, God. Just at Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> yeah. Which at that point, his music was like kind of more like heavy rap. So the whole environment was just like freaking me out. And it's like shake it. Get up. <laughs> God, yeah. Yeah. He's fine, though. He just woke up, you know. Cool. He's still with us? Yeah. Okay. I passed out at the uh, boys' noise. What's he- boys' noise? 
It's not a band. <laughs> it's a band. But it sounds boy, like a made-up band. It does kind of sound like a made-up band. <laughs> boy, what boy. is it? Electronic music? What is it? Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's like electronic, yeah. Boys noise. Boys noise. Boys I to mean, men. <laughs> it's catchy. Like boys to men. Boys to men. Yeah. I don't remember any song. They may. We are little boys getting bigger every day. <laughs> boys and men did not sing yeah, that. That was one of the songs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. What? You would only that's sing about how, being little boys. That's how childish as hell. <laughs> it's an R&B band, right? They wouldn't sing nothing like that. Take it up with them, man. You nah, y'all just made them. that up. They did not sing that again. Mommy gives me milk, makes my bones grow so strong. Playing baseball this fall with my dad. He's the coach. Yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> See, now I know y'all Here they are. made that up. Because they would definitely <laughs> not play baseball. That's where y'all gave it away. No, a lot of the baseball. songs, they talked about baseball. Baseball was a big part of a couple of their lives. I think two of their lives, baseball was a giant part of it. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, it makes all sense. And literally one of the guys' dad was the coach. So he talks about his dad often. <laughs> Did you not know Boys to Men sings about stuff like that? No. They were practically raised in the ballpark, dude. Yeah, I mean, they're giant baseball fans. I think they're big Atlanta Braves fans. Something. I think the Atlanta Braves, I think they love them. Well, just so, so you knew. Huh. <laughs> just trying to fill you in. Yeah, of why the name is Boys to Men. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. They That's just the subject matter. And yeah. If, if you take I never been really listening to them, so I don't know like their backstory. Well, the, I'm glad we were able to Yeah, man, we just fill wanna, you in. We just want to help. Yeah. Did you know that, Grant? Yeah. Uh, I love their discography. Oh, really? What's your really? favorite album? <laughs> uh, Mo- Mommy's Milk. Uh, you know, the <laughs> the song that Casey was singing is off of the album Mommy's Milk. I like that a lot. Yeah. It's got a lot of good jams. That's considered cool. kind of their wide album. That's like when they really started experimenting, you know, more with their sound and for sure what it means to be a little boy. <clears throat> They do R and B, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's kind of like, like country, like the song y'all no, sang. No, it's, it's R and B. No, it was more R and B than that. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's R. It's straight up R and B. I, I think that how Casey sang it sounded country, but it's. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, because you don't want to do a black voice, huh? <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's something I've realized about you, Casey. Whenever you. Sing some sort of rap song or something. It's always in that country voice. That's the reason. I had no idea why that was. I mean, who knew singing on beat could get you canceled, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you can't hit them deep notes. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, for those that don't know, this is Ty Wen. He's our guest today. Dude, so nice. Uh, Ty, a lot of people don't know this. You're a rapper. You could say that. Yeah, you had your hits of the Pflugerville song. Yeah, p Anthem. p Anthem. Have you heard that, Casey? I have, yeah. It's real funny. It's Thank good, you. too. It's Thank very you. funny. I'm from Pflugerville, bitch. Don't you come outside. I'm from Pflugerville, bitch. Don't you come outside. I'm from Pflugerville, bitch. 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 How did you come up with those... How do you come up with the raps? So uh, I had an idea for the hook. I'm from Fugaville, bitch. Don't you come outside. <laughs> and at first I thought, it's such a ridiculous hook, right? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't like do the song till like eight weeks something later. Cause I... So you came up with that first? Yeah, yeah. I'm that, from that Fugaville, hook. bitch. Don't, don't come outside. Yeah, and it just stuck inside my head it's like nice it's, yeah, yeah 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 it's something that's it's catchy yeah it's something that it <laughs> wanted to be created because i wasn't really going creative for you sure know? yeah so it just like it's just like on my mind oh you're saying like the like the universe wanted it to be made like something wanted it to be made oh something paranormal. yeah Cause I yeah, don't. Yeah, some paranormal. I, I it could don't be the buy, universe. I don't buy for Flugerville that hard, you know. It could be some sort it's of like, I only lived there for four years, so yeah, like, <laughs> maybe it's a ghost of somebody that lived in Flugerville. So I'm like, oh, Fair. you gotta make this song. Could be a ghost. Yeah. Yeah, it could. It sounds like it could be a spiritual warfare type of deal going on. Wait, yeah. what is your next Flugerville. line in the song? So what was your first line after you were on the hook the whole time? So what did you come up with? Um, What's your first verse? 
My first verse. I mean, so I had like the line, the first line. Uh, pretty much, it was easy because it's like I'm from a city with a name that's hard to spell. That's the first thing about Fruitvale. Is like mm-hmm. it's hard to spell. It is the first. Thing. How do you say it? Do you pronounce the P? Uh, you don't. But there's a P in there. There's a P and an F and an L and a U and a G E R and Ville V I L L E. So it's like a Dr. Seuss type of. It's word. like a big word in Scrabble. Yeah, you know, playing it's like, Scrabble. That we're yeah, <laughs> it's like then they know, man. If we name this small city Flugerville, it's gonna mess up so many people's lives. It's gonna literally mess up people's lives if we name this place. <laughs> it's literally gonna destroy families. <laughs> Truly a rotten thing to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just so difficult. Yeah, but that's the first line from a city with a name that hard to spell. And then, you know, Dale was like a big thing in Austin and Flugerville, especially Flugerville. What's a big thing? Dale. Dale Computer. Oh, yes. Yeah. You remember Dale? Dude, you're getting a Dell. Yeah, it's huge. Like, <laughs> what was that a commercial? Yeah, yeah it was yeah. some weird guy who ended up getting in trouble. I think he got in trouble for, for something. smoking weed. So they had. Oh, to was like, it weed? Yeah, it was weed. Do you remember those, or is that a little before? No, it's a real thing. That. I remember that guy. He helped Dell sell a lot of computers. Dell was like a big <laughs> computer guy. <laughs> we had a gateway, I think, with yeah, the Cal yeah. box. Dude. Oh, I remember that. Those yeah. were fun when you had like Windows 95 or Windows 2000. You remember that? I remember. But then yeah. he smoked a big ass blunt and everybody got pissed. Everybody got pissed and yeah. kicked him out. That Dude, was going to be his fucking... a lot. He helped then, like, <laughs> revenue went up by 10%. Revenue really went up by 10%? 10% based on his commercial. Wow. Damn, they should have kept him around just for that. I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, that's but... Great margin. Yeah. Yeah, wonderful margin, especially, wonderful yeah, margin. selling, yeah, computers around that time period. That margin is nuts. The market was really competitive. I know. It was, that's what I remember hearing. It was a weird, weird hey, market. Y'all remember dial-up internet? Did y'all use that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, y'all remember AOL? They used to send you like the CD for the service, like <laughs> all the time. Like, Five hundred your free hours. Yeah, yeah. They send <laughs> whatever you so that much. even means. I don't even... <laughs> <laughs> they give you some free like internet time on those CDs. What was your AOL screen name? I forgot. Probably Asian Boy or something. Asian Boy. Yeah. <laughs> Asian is like for Asian. <laughs> it is. What yeah. does it mean? Is that with a Z? Yeah. What does it mean? <laughs> it means Asian. I just told you. But with a Z. But it's with a Z. Yeah, Asian. Asian yeah. I guess they're trying to be cool. That's my cousin's name. Real name? Asian. Asian. <laughs> Real name? No, that's a stupid <laughs> lie. <laughs> that wasn't even good lie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know it was. Yeah. <laughs> so. You gotta work to on your that. lying. Yeah. Come on, man. Give him a break. Give me a break. I was trying to lie for a second, trying to spice things up a little, and I messed up. So you don't have to call me out on it. But mm-hmm. dead air. God, stop! <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> What have you been babbling about? What have you been babbling about in another language? What have you been, Grant, what have you been babbling about? Uh, I just got back from Costa Rica. I babbled a little bit in Espanol. Ooh, Ooh. Spanish. See, si. The great thing with Babel, uh, lessons are 10 minutes. You can start conversing in another language in three weeks. Did you know that? I didn't. Three weeks. Did you know that, Erica? It's pretty quick. Very quick. 10-minute lessons. It's taught by people, not robots. Mm-hmm. Grant, Thanks. did you know other language apps similar to this? It's AI teaching you. You don't want a robot teaching you Spanish. How do they know if I'm getting better? Exactly. You need people. You need people on the ground. You need boots on the ground. You don't need a robot. Language expert. You need a language expert, not a robot. They have 14 languages that you could learn. I don't think Egyptian is one of them, which is, I mean, I don't know what you're, I think Egypt is dangerous. I like Egypt, but I think it's dangerous. Uh, But yeah. uh, (laughs) What? 
<laughs> yeah, huh? <laughs> I don't know if it's dangerous. Is it dangerous? It could be. I, I think it's okay. Yeah, just be careful if you plan on going to Egypt. That's all I'm saying, just as anywhere else. Uh, but yeah, Babel, uh, great sponsor. Um, if if you end up going to babel.com, use code WMS for 60% off your subscription. Save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash WMS. That's babbel.com slash WMS for up to 60% off your subscription. 60% off the subscription. 14 different languages you can choose from. Learn a language. Start talking in a language in three weeks. You want language experts, not robots. Babbel language for life. (laughs) (laughs) What was your screen name, William? Pat 106 at AOL.com. My buddy Alvin and Alex, we get on chat rooms and talk to people. Yeah. I remember Instant Messenger. We use I am in. Instant. Yeah. Did I you ever cyber? Were you a cyber sex person? Nah. I used to love cybering. <laughs> Find people in the cat chat room to start cybering. Yeah. How do you know the other person is honest? You know? Like... <laughs> They're probably not. That's part of the fun. <laughs> It's probably a middle-aged man. That's always part of the fun. It's like role-playing, you know? Oh, my, <laughs> yeah, my boobs well, are so yeah. big. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you lose a boner when you see potholes in the typing. <laughs> Wait a second. So it doesn't match up. What? <laughs> you said you had a big-ass vagina earlier. <laughs> Why is it tight now? And now it's super tight? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you typing L big, Austin? <laughs> Wait on a damn minute. <laughs> you, said, you said your titties smell like shit. <laughs> Would you like a girl whose titties smell like shit, Ty? I don't know if I would, would you? I'm just asking. Why not? Because that's like a big ton of just the smell. Yeah. Smell? Yeah. Right. What if every other part of her smelled great, but just her titties for some reason like smell like stink? Would you still hit it? <laughs> <laughs> would you hit it from behind so you don't have to smell the stinky titties? Yeah. <laughs> I would hit it from behind to avoid the stinky titties. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. cool. That's just cool. a weird sentence to say. <laughs> I'd hit it from behind to stay away from <laughs> this. <laughs> to avoid the stinky teeth. That, yeah, I mean, if the, her whole body smelled good and it was just her bosoms, right, maybe you could just hit it from the back. or yeah. Cover them in duct tape or something. Yeah. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> well, can, can you blown like, back your tits. That could be in one of your rap songs. Blown back your tits. <laughs> Blown back your tits. Hit it from behind so I can avoid the stinky titties. Damn. That'd be great. Wait, did you talk about women and stuff in your rap? Because I saw it, but I can't remember specifically what it said. Are you talking about women or you're just mainly talking about literally Pflugerville? The whole song is just about Pflugerville. There's no reference to women. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It just talk about stuff that goes on in the neighborhood. Cool. Well, I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> Ty, I have a <laughs> Ty, I brought you a present. Are you familiar with pink Cadillacs? <laughs> <laughs> have you heard about pink Cadillacs before? <laughs> Do you like gummies? Is this like the pimp of gummies? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want them? This is like yeah. You like that? <laughs> this is like some upscale gummy. Why would I turn it down? <laughs> Why would I turn out gummy? That's, you like the looks of that? You that's, dummy. <laughs> you dummy. That's a top shelf gummy, my man. I know. <laughs> and look at the flavors. It's all the red or pink flavors. That's uh, it's very fun. well designed gummy. <laughs> that's what William said. I know. That's exactly what I said. It said, you might, you may find yourself tempted by a swell bowling shirt or a new pink poodle skirt. Taking you back. Yeah, the good old days. <laughs> no, no, and 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 then and, yeah. and then it say it say you just might start restoring that first car that's out in the barn. <laughs> Remember the one in Detroit with the cartel fins. Cool. 
Wow. <laughs> Whoever get paid to vote this, it's like it's just, they... It's setting a scene. <laughs> <laughs> is this like a haiku? <laughs> what is yeah, it's that? weird. Erica literally read all of that <laughs> this is 10 minutes such... before we walked in here and we were driving over here. I heard that. This is such a great writing. I know it's impressive, but yeah, what's even so more impressive though. is what's inside. <laughs> It's like made in Netherlands. Like a person from Netherlands wrote this. Like they really have to use their imagination. (laughs) We'll have William email. There's no way they know about Detroit. Right. (laughs) Yeah, I wondered why they brought up Detroit. (laughs) Oh, they probably watched Eight Miles, you know? It also says made in the Netherlands. Netherlands, yeah. So. What did they think? That's just what foreign people think America is. Just a bunch of Cadillacs and barns. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Your dad cars in a barn. <laughs> Nobody dad cars in a barn. Nobody. <laughs> you mean tractor? <laughs> yeah, tractor would have been more. Yeah, there's probably more tractors and bars. Yeah. Than... Well, I'm glad you See, like plot it. See, potholes. We found plot holes. Plot holes in pink yeah. Cadillac. Pink Cadillac, yeah. But I still love the the vibing, though. Cool. Well, I yeah, hope you yeah. like uh, the candies <laughs> even more. He I'm sure it's as good. It's a uh, non-GMO. Wow. Yeah, I knew you couldn't have milk, so we made dish- made sure it <laughs> was non-GMO. Gluten free. Is that what is the milk thing? No, neither one of those is milk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what non-GMO is. <laughs> Well, you know that I'm allergic to, you know, GMO. Milk gummies. <laughs> Milk gummies. For the babies, you know? For the babies. For the babies. Yeah. It's all for the babies, man. It needs to be. Should be. America needs to go back to that. We've been far uh, away from that for far too long. I mean, we're coming back to it. You know, we're banning abortions, stuff like that, <laughs> for the babies. For the babies. <laughs> for the babies. That's so right. we're, we're going back. Baby Geniuses was a really good movie mm-hmm. about really See? smart babies. If we Babies abort the a baby, we'll know we kill a genius. One of those baby could be a genius. And we suffer True. for that. Yeah, who cares if the mom can't raise it? Yeah, everybody but, suffers. Yeah, if it's a genius, it'll survive on his own. There you go. It's yeah. a boss baby, yeah. So. Boss baby. That yeah, that's why I'm poor alive. That's the only reason why I'm poor alive. Just that geniuses well, could a genius be. genius baby, baby, yeah. Because all the yeah. boss babies are taking Might be dogs. one out of a million, yeah. but that's worth it. Yeah. What is a boss baby? Just a baby good at business? Alec Baldwin. Like, it grew up only inside his head, you know, but it's still young. Yeah, kind of you <laughs> grew up early inside. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds funny. <laughs> it was born with. I it. mean, there's a word for that. For uh, what? Only development. That would be a better word. It's called a billionaire mindset. <laughs> yeah, the mindset. baby had a billionaire mindset. <laughs> <laughs> Ty, do you have a billionaire mindset? Uh, I'm trying to develop one. I think I'm doing great. I'm 34. Nice. You got time to have one. Yeah, yeah maybe. Got time. I have like two years. And you could also have a baby on, on the off chance that it could end up being a boss baby. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, what if you had one of the baby geniuses? I don't know. I have to bust a nut in somebody that's smart, you know? Higher the, that, that would higher the chances, increase the chance of Is that something you look genius. for in a lady when you're dating? Yeah. Smartness? Well, I have to enjoy talking to them. They don't have to be, like, book smart, you know? Like, not Mensa. Not, like, I don't know what that means. What, the, uh... Smart <laughs> people. Oh. Uh, the bad skin infection of Mensa? And she don't have to be yeah, vocabulary verse, uh... smart, you know? Vocabulary smart. <laughs> you talking Staff about infection. You talking about sepsis? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sepsis. <laughs> 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 I, uh, what I look Steve. for in a woman is a woman who's suffering from the early on stage sta- <laughs> stages of sepsis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Doubled over in pain. Just turning green, kind of. <laughs> Do you turn green when you have sepsis? You can. Yikes. You really can. Have you ever been green? Been green? All the time. Smoking weed? Yeah. Yo. That's how you meant. Right? <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. I'm addicted to weed. Cool. Yeah. It was so sweet of you. You had that blunt in your car, but then I couldn't hit it outside. 
Yeah, I had to get you know, in your car. Yeah, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to be in front of the establishment. Like, I know, I know, I know. Disrespecting them with your blunt smoking ways. Fair enough, I agree. Yeah. Plus, you want to be a good citizen. You know, kids might see you and stuff. Yeah, a yeah. boss, a boss baby might see you. Yeah, and blazing kind of, that thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but maybe might, that would be good—a boss baby getting into weed early. Can invest. Maybe I don't. Know. I don't even know what I meant by that. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Grant, what are you doing? You're going haywire. Things are going haywire. What's going on here? <laughs> That does not look like a boss baby. That's not a boss baby I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, I've never seen a boss baby like that. Dude, that look like a evil baby. Evil yeah. Baby. That's some yeah. sort of spooky baby. Yeah. They're the bad guys in the NASCAR movies. Yeah, that's Dude. these spooky ass babies. Dude, those are like the baby that die as sperm, you know? That what? Die as a sperm. God, but they still grow up. Like, they grow up and, like, they die, but they still grow up. You're saying like some sort of <laughs> make that go. <laughs> some sort of <laughs> Casper. 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 And they're also <laughs> driving NASCAR, right, William? <laughs> yep. They're the bad guys in the NASCAR movie. They're the people that killed Dale Earnhardt Sr., rest in peace. What were your thoughts when he died? What were you doing on that day? I think it was before my time. <laughs> Did he die? Where were you born? <laughs> and eight? Thirty-four. Yeah, I'm 34. <laughs> no, he died in like He died in like 2001. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Or something, yeah, 2003. Yeah. What were you? I was just wondering. A lot of people remember what they were What's doing on the day thing? he died. So I wondered if, huh? Was that a big thing? What, when he died? Yeah. The yeah. biggest. The biggest? How did he die? He died um, in 2001. Damn. How? Like, uh, doing what he loved? September 11th, 2001. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, uh, it happened on 9 11. That's why it, oh, okay. sometimes people <laughs> forget about it. He drove his race car into the t- <laughs> into the twin towers. <laughs> what? He was what hit that second building. If you slow it down, wow. His number three car. <laughs> Must have been a very tall ramp. That you know. was big yeah, no, I mean he was going yeah. three hundred miles an hour. It was, wow. like, <laughs> it was like an evil Knievel type setup. He was really gassing it, huh? And it was oh, weird. It, it happened the same yeah. day as the plane. It wasn't planned. Yeah, it wasn't even planned. Complete coincidence. <laughs> yeah, the people in Saudi Arabia or wherever they were excited. They were like, "What is he doing? He's helping us." They were like, "Hold on." At first, they were like, "Hold on, what is this guy doing?" But then they were like, "Oh, oh my God, this is actually helping us." They took credit for his work. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, he died a no martyr. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, in Saudi Arabia. I mean, you see people pray to him, people. <laughs> well, I appreciate him because he died for us to get cheaper gas price. Cheaper <laughs> gas <Sorry>. prices? <laughs> Where have you been getting gas? <laughs> Sam's Club. I mean, back then, you know. Oh, back then. Yeah, Did cause gas go down back then? Because yeah. we invaded, like, somewhere. Do tonight, Ivan, and we get all the gas. That's what I heard. Yeah, <laughs> that's a very big summary of what I heard. <laughs> so that yeah. was nice of him to do that. Yeah. So yeah, he died for us to get cheaper gas because he did nine Ivan. So we invaded Iraq and we got the oil. That's what I heard. Yeah. For the uh, Afghanistan or Pakistan, one of those places. Galveston? <laughs> Galveston, Texas. <laughs> yeah, we invaded that too. <laughs> <laughs> that was a tough one. <laughs> the War of Galveston? <laughs> <laughs> no, I had rifles, so. <laughs> Lost a rifle, so. Yeah, bed and stick and stone. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and Or what? And I ran has stick and stone, oh, so yeah, yeah, they were yeah. very easily defeated. We took the oil night candy from a baby. Yup. Yeah. Like the pink Cadillacs. Yeah. Like like pink Cadillacs from a baby. From a baby, baby. Like, like we took <laughs> the pink Cadillac out of their hands. From the barn. It was that easy. Out of the damn barn. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you. I'm glad we could <laughs> talk about Dale Earnhardt. I know a lot of people don't realize that, that I think his car is what hit the... 
Yeah. It's like a building. split second. Yeah. If you slow it down. Yeah. For sure, yeah. You have to slow it way down, but you can see him there. It's like, kind of weird down. that his car kind of had, like, yeah, say, Spirit Anine on the side, you know? Yeah. His car, yeah. Huh? Yeah. No, he was in his number three car. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he did that. He had a Dukes of Hazard horn. <laughs> That he played. Yeah, he was he hit it. doing his horn. It was so sweet. Yeah, he was doing his horn. It was nice. It was well, how he we'll wanted to go. We'll a shirt on eBay. Yeah, and get you a Dale Earnhardt shirt, maybe. 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 Yeah, maybe we'll think about it. There yeah. he is. Rest in peace. Just picking up speed. Yeah, go. he's, God, going so fast right there. Going, going down Wall Street. <laughs> yeah, just flying <laughs> down fucking Wall Street. Just fucking, fucking windows are breaking. <laughs> He's going Mach 5. Yeah, he's dude. Mach 5 in that thing. Yeah, I bet that's the ultimate adrenaline rush. Damn right it would be. Yeah. That's the dream, dude. Now you have to be so in the moment. Like, every split second counts. Yep. And you have to make tough decisions, you know? You can make a decision that you thought was good, but then it's just, like, destroy everybody else. Yeah. And they all flip and shit. Like, oh, yeah. shit, I kill shit on people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ty, where can uh, folks uh, find you? you can where can they find me? your video? Um, on YouTube, just type in Fugaville or P-Ville Anthem. I titled P-Ville Anthem because it's tough to type Fugaville. Perfect. Yeah. Yep. So you can check that out. Uh, my next music video is coming soon. Oh. We're wrapping up shooting. It's about global warming. It's called Got Her Wet. What's it called? Got Her Wet. So you probably have some lines about bitches in that one, don't you? No, it's just about oh, wow. wet stuff. Like, uh, I have a line that go, uh, wetter than a seal that joined the Navy SEAL. <laughs> <laughs> wetter than the BP oil spill. Oh, Whoa! Wow. Yeah. Wetter oh, yeah. than the people on the Titanic. Wetter <laughs> than Subway meatball sandwich. Oh, you said Subway. <laughs> oh, my yeah. gosh. Cool. Big fan. Those are wet sandwiches. Well, that's like one. People make fun of them <laughs> for having like wet sandwiches, but I never had a wet Subway sandwiches. Yeah. But people really make, comedians really make fun of Subway. They have so much joke about it. Yeah. Yeah. Hit I don't it. know why. But apparently, after not Jared, <laughs> Jared didn't help. <laughs> yeah, I don't think if they had Subway joke before Jared, but the joke is not about Jared, just about the food and stuff. The quality of the food, like, is shitty. But I never had a shitty Subway sandwich. Cool, you heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what people want to know. Yeah. But yeah fucking hit it from behind so I don't have to smell her stinky titties. <laughs> yeah. And Casey, thank you so much for being here. Casey uh, is spelling in. He's going to he's gonna be on here now. Happy to be here. I'm, thank you so thank much you. for saying yes. You're so sweet. I was nervously texting you yesterday. I was like, dear God, what's he even going to say? <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you so nervous. much. Well, yeah, no, it makes me so happy, happy to be here with you guys, and uh, the every we had so much fun this time today. I know it was so sweet talking to you, Ty. We like you so much, Ty. Yeah, you're so sweet to have come on here. Thank well, you, Tommy. Right? Oh my God. Whatever you want. Man. Yeah, whatever, however you want it. <laughs> however you want it, you're gonna get it. I just want a platonic. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yep. You, know, you can't sense. mix business with pleasure. You know. We could try. No, you don't. Try. It's like mixing water with oil. Like the BP oil. Like the, yeah, the yeah. Oil like, like, like it kill aquatic knife form. Like a Subway meatball soup. <laughs> yeah. yeah, those things are wet. <laughs> yeah. They look wet. But you're saying they're not actually wet. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for being on here. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737 471 1098. Never miss an episode of the William Montgomery Show by subscribing to the William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. 
For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at IBrettMyPants. This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.